Yes, sir. That's what matters. Can I ask you a question before we start? Yeah. It's been a pretty... Uh, it's been two weeks. Has it? It's been. But we've been, po- we been still posting. No, we, we gave content. Content's that's what out matters. there. There's check, content. Check it out on YouTube. We'll talk about it so in a second. You but. didn't get an episode, but you got content. So, if content. If you're not appreciative about that, well, you can take it up with me. And if you want to take it up with me, we can fix our problems if you have a problem. Bring your grandmas. So, yeah. Bring your grandmas too, bitch. You know what? Hey, yo. Bro, I'm so fucking hyped. I'm excited. Three, two, one. What's, what's up, up, guys? Welcome, uh, fucking, it's what's Every up, time. welcome back, guys. No, but usually sometimes we do what, what's up, welcome back to an episode of It Ancient Heart. Choose. Which one are we doing today? Let's, let's see yours. What was yours again? Okay. What's crack a lacking? Snake pop. What's crack a lacking sugar pie? Okay. Sugar plum, sugar plum. Sugar plums. Yes. Three, Three, two, two one. one. What's, What's crack a lacking sugar, sugar plums? plums? Welcome back to another episode of Idiots with Heart. I'm your boy Matt. I'm going to be the host. We're going to be the host. We were the host. This is the host. <laughs> this was one of the hosts of Block X. I'm going to host your cells and take over your body. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, guys, a lot has happened the last, past two weeks. Yeah. Uh, Matt, you want to run it down for us? Yeah. So, the last two weeks, we have been excruciatingly working hard at developing this big extreme event. Well, extreme event. It was a party. We threw a party, guys. We threw Block a, X is, a, is a title uh, of it. A, a party, a Project X style party. <laughs> Listen, it was our it was first a movie. We're, listen, we're going to talk about it in depth because we know that everybody, for the most part, was happy, but not everybody yeah. was happy. So we're going to address those issues yeah. in this episode. Not just that. We're going to talk about other things further down the line. Do you want to tell them, Rocky, what we're going to yeah, talk about? Uh, let's talk about clubbing a bit, you know, because yeah. that's due to party. And uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just get in right into it, guys. So yep. um, basically, Block X, guys, uh, was a hell of an event. Yeah. I mean, it was. I had more fun preparing for it than the actual night of. But uh, I, I had more fun at the actual event, putting my hand in shit, <laughs> stuffing my hand <laughs> in the toilet bowl. No. <laughs> so, uh, Black X was. Uh, I'm not gonna give away too many deep secrets because, uh, shout out to my boy JJ who helped me set up the whole fucking event with me in 48 hours, bro. Uh, fucking love you, man. We went through hell. Cheers to you, JJ. We did, we did all of Montreal. Went to South Shore. We would drive right before work. We had that time of our lives together. Uh, really good time. Uh, awesome half of Block Squads. Uh, shout out to the other half, Trey, for helping us, you know, uh, being the head organizer of all this. You, you know, guys were a great help. Shout out to you, too. You guys were a great help. Uh, uh, let's get right into the actual day, which I think is the best tea. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shout out somebody else later in this video as well. Yeah, for sure. Because I was going to die at some point. I know, but that, that's why I was waiting for one. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. No problem, so, bro. Uh, actual day of the event. It's a snowy blizzard day. Uh, we're basically busting our ass to run everywhere, to it pick up everybody, to get yeah. everything, to go set up. Yep. We set up. Mm-hmm. and uh, There's no beers. There's no beers. <laughs> There's no beers. So, um, so I'm asked, and I don't mind doing this, but I was asked to go buy some juice, some beers. I was like... We don't have beer, but we have hard liquor. And I'm like, well, how are you going to play beer pong without beer? So we go. We buy beer. Well, I, I buy beer, but yeah. for us. I buy beer. Uh, I come back with uh, juice, beer, cardboard boxes that we found at IGA. Like, yeah. And uh, we start setting up. But nice Night starts, right? Mm-hmm. Let's get right into it. The night started. Uh, well, I started out pretty, and, uh, pretty slow. So starts off. You know, a couple people come in. I yeah. uh, Actually, Matt and I, at the beginning of the night, we played beer pong against these two girls. Oh, my God. Damn it. Can we say their names? No, we can't they, say their they names. They don't watch this. No, one of them actually follows the podcast. Oh. I know. I was Damn like, it. when I saw that, I was like, oh shit. Fuck. We played against these two girls and they didn't. <laughs> they, they had no idea what was going hey, on. No love to you guys. You guys actually did not bad. No love to you guys. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Y'all didn't make a single cup. <laughs> no, they did. Oh, they did? They did. That's why I was going, oh fuck. Oh, we're dog shit. Oh fuck. We're, I know. we're trash. I know. And I was such a dick. There was this one blonde girl. <laughs> and I asked her. Are you naturally blonde or did you die? <laughs> listen, listen, it's all love. But people are making comments that did not make any sense. So Rocky and I looked at each other and then he goes, and he, he goes, he nods at me. I go, oh no. He turns around. He goes, are you naturally blonde or did you dye your hair? <laughs> she dyed it. She dyed it, obviously. She dyed it. But, and I was like, which did it, it didn't back up the theory. No, it didn't. But like, I was just being, a, I know it's the worst part because at the, at the beginning, Matt thought I was going to hit on her because she was a very pretty girl. Very, she was very, very blonde pretty. girl. She like, was she's pretty beautiful. Uh, but he's like, he's like, oh, like he thought I was trying to get it. No, no. <laughs> I'm just being a dick for no reason. Uh, night continues on, you know, everyone's dancing. Everything was going to ship. The speakers were fucking busted. Uh, was it busted? Yeah, it kept see, popping. We have, we have different points of views at this party. 
yeah, it kept popping, so we couldn't blast the music oh. higher. But nonetheless, it was uh, it was not bad. You know, we were going around. Uh, did were there any moments that stood out for you, Matt? Really? <laughs> any moments that stood out for you? Let's talk about it. Let's just talk about all the bad. Let's not talk about which any moment of the good. do you want, Rocky? There's a shitty one, and there's well, there's a shitty one. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay, so throughout the party, listen. At some point, um, from my point of view, I thought for our first party. We did a pretty good job. I thought that you I want to save that for the end, after this. Oh, save that for after this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trust oh, me. so we keep the review of Block X. Yeah, yeah, at the end. The first later. Yeah, at the end. Oh, are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, trust me. Oh, you're sure? Yeah, yeah, trust, trust me. Okay, sweet cheeks. So, so throughout ah. the so at some point throughout the party, um, the bathrooms get clogged. <laughs> um, and I know this because I have like three people come up to me and go, "Yo, like the bathrooms are clogged." I'm like, "Oh shit!" So I go check what happened in the bathrooms. I'm thinking here maybe like it's just I, I gotta pump it with the you know the, the yeah toilet pumper, or like I gotta like you know like I'm something something fucked up. I go in these motherfuckers, and here's the thing, eh? Real estate, my girlfriend didn't help with this. <laughs> she didn't help with this one. No, because she helped later on. But with this, I looked at her. I was like, "Did you pee?" And she was like, "Yeah." And I was like. What? And this is what this is what happened. So they ran out of toilet paper. Not them, not real estate. She didn't cause this, but people at the party ran out of toilet paper. Yeah. Which maybe it's our fault. You know, we didn't think about accounting for toilet paper at a party. Like who's gonna go take a shit at a party? Go home. No, you would think that the, the fucking place would supply toilet paper. A little bit. The place supplied no toilet paper. And oh and no garbage bags either, by the way. Yeah. Um so oopsies. So I get in there, and the toilet is stuffed. It's stuffed with brown paper. As you guys know, brown paper does not um, it does not dilute in no, water. It, does not it stays dissolve. stuck. Yeah. So I'm in there, and I'm like, what the fuck? There's no more toilet. It's all fucking paper. And I'm like, oh, no. And then I look at real estate, who just came out, and I'm like, did you pee? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, you peed on the fucking brown paper. What do you mean? <laughs> And she was like calling her. I didn't even know this. Wow, this is just calling her out. No, it's funny. It was really Actually, funny. <laughs> the fact more to clock it. Listen, when I heard Wait, you pissed bro. on it, what you heard right in there, bro. I'm not keeping that in here. I'm not keeping that. What do you mean? I'm not keeping any of that in here. Okay, well, listen. So what I had to start doing, I did it for the party, okay? I thought about what Thanos once said, a small price to pay for salvation. And he did it. So I grabbed my fuck I took my hand. Well, I wrapped it up in other brown paper, yeah. and I stuffed it in the fucking toilet, bro, and I emptied that shit, and I put it in the garbage. Oh, man, that's respect. Thank that's you. That block X and, hustle. That, it's that block X <laughs> hustle. And at the end of the day, uh, there was still a bit left in, in it, and I said, fuck it. There's a bit left. That's probably going to flush in. Yeah. And then I think I, I kind of just prayed and walked out. I told my friends, like, listen, bathroom's out of order. There's no more bathroom for the night. And then I walked out, and then people kept going in anyways. And the toilet unclogged magically. I don't know who did what. I don't know what happened. It was God helping you out, homie. And don't get us wrong. There were some good parts of the, the party. It wasn't all shit. We're yeah. just giving the fun perspective because nobody ever wants to hear all the good things. Everyone wants to hear like, how did it go wrong? Yeah. Well, listen, the like, ceiling busting down was like Yeah, yeah. At one awesome. point we were throwing a guy. Cool. We fucking busted the ceiling and went through the ceiling. It was wicked. Like, it was lit. At one point, it got fucking lit. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. People were drinking. Then you had your typical white bitches puking all over the place. Mm. Yeah, typically. Which is normal. Fucking, I got study. <laughs> huh? I got study. It's my reminder. Study and do my second study. reflection. You know what though? I don't like. I actually I saw some of them. Like some girls who puked. I was like, really? Like this is entirely your fault. I saw another one on the ground. I felt bad. I called yeah, the taxi. We helped her out. Yeah, I know. It's like we we. But for the record, guys, we called a taxi. Well, you. I know you did. Um, but we did. We called taxis for every person who puked. Yeah. Well, every person that puked. One of them just walked out. No, we out. made sure everyone got home safe. Nobody was left behind. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I can account for us is that we were. We were good people pleasers. Like we made sure everybody was safe, everybody was okay, like nobody was in danger. We also helped them with the relationship issues. But that's <laughs> relationship issues. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. So we assigned bracelets to yeah. people at the party. Blue being single, orange being taken, and white being it's complicated. Yeah. Um that caused a little. <laughs> that caused some issues, that especially some on issues. Rocky's side of the story. On Rocky, <laughs> that actually sounds worse. Well, like, it sounds like it has to do with me, but it has nothing to do with no, me. No, it has nothing to do with you. No, but it was just funny. Because, anyways, I'm gonna avoid but, explaining yeah. why that's funny. But you know, um, uh, yeah. So basically, at the party, there was this girl that I met earlier in the night, and you know, I had to go. We we went around going saying hi to everybody. Are you doing good? Make yeah. sure everyone's okay. Mm-hmm. And there's this one girl that you know. Uh, at one point, I'm talking to her. 
because her one of her friends, one of her guy friends did something stupid. Who's this? L or J? No, no, J. Oh, J. No, but but the, the white guy blue? friend. Is, is, is it white guy, and blue? Yeah, the, the one that was in white. But I'm talking about the guy friend who did the... Oh. That guy, but okay. we're not going to oh, talk about oh, that oh, here. Oh, oh, There was, yeah. There was yeah. something. We took care of it. We made sure everybody was safe. But there was some... There was one guy there. Fucking you piece of shit. Yeah. Anyways. So... This girl, I'm talking to her because of the event that happened with her guy friend. And mm-hmm. at one point, she's just staying there like that. Mm-hmm. So I tell her, I'm like, and our job is to keep the party alive. So I tell her, okay, let's go dance. No. And we're dancing, her and I. And so to the naked eye, Matt just sees me dancing with this girl. And it, it looks very intimate. Do you want my point of view? Dancing. What? Do you want my point of view? Like we like said last yeah. night? Put your point of view. Okay, so I'm looking for Rocky because a friend of ours um, was going through a little issue with this yeah. guy. And... You know, we're not going to talk about it because it's privacy. I don't respect everybody yes. to her because she didn't feel comfortable talking about it. But right. One thing I will say, though, is um, like we always vouch for like women's let's respect, safety. Let's respect each other. Yeah. And like some dudes last night, not last night, some dudes at the party did not really respect that. Yeah. And they were booted out of the party. They were booted out of the party. They, and left. they made sure they were, they were banned from all other events. And, and we, yeah. we spoke to them personally. And thank God they were booted because they wouldn't have made it out if they, they didn't leave yeah. on their own. No. And we had like what six dudes going like, oh, oh, like yeah, it was fucking yeah, yeah. She she was okay by the way. It was nothing too yeah, extreme. Okay, it was worry. just like a small gesture that was not appreciated. And we're like, bro, come on. Yeah. So I'm looking for Rocky to tell him about this, and I'm going through the crowd because it's a pretty hefty crowd because Rocky's in the back. Yeah. Kind of think of it as like the eye of a storm, the eye of a hurricane. At the eye of the hurricane, there's peace, but all around it is a gesture of wind. Yeah. So I'm in the wind digging, and I, I kind of I split the crowd in half, and I look and I see. This monkey over here. I see him dancing with the girl, but bro, guys, it looked like prom. Yeah. It looked like prom. Like It's like the music faded away from me, and I saw him smiling, looking at this girl. She was a pretty girl. Um, and she had, his, she had her arms wrapped around his neck, and he had his hands not on her ass, not jiggling her fucking buttocks, going, yeah, I got No, oh no, no. God. He had it on her waist. And yeah. like, it was just pretty. And we dancing. And I felt bad interrupting it. I was like, Rocky, yo, like somebody got so, assaulted. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. From the outside perspective, it looks like, you know, like, like, I'm trying to get with this girl. Now, the reality of it is, is I'm talking to her about a cur- her current situation with another guy. She, ha- she has this white bracelet on. She's telling me, like, how it's complicated, right? Because he came into the party saying that he was single. And the blue she thought she was in a complicated si- situation with him. So, you can see how, you know, I'm dancing with her. And the whole time, I'm trying to tell her, like, how to just go for it and tell him. Go for him. If you like him, tell him. You know, like, go shoot your shot. Don't be shy, right? And I'm doing all this. <laughs> if you think about it, who the fuck dances with a girl, like, in an intimate fashion, telling her, go for another guy? You know what? And it was just funny because, like, right after we had our DJ, JJ, comes up to me and he's like, bro, like, good job. I'm like, I'm not trying to kill with her. <laughs> like, I'm trying to help her out. So that just goes to show that at Block X, we want to see everybody win. I'm everyone calling, be I'm happy. calling her Denona. Janona, you should dance with them again. Oh my god, man. No, I said it. Oh you can bleep it. You have god. the power of editing. Oh Janona, what are you doing? God, man. Blue was, bracelet, was, man, listen, doesn't respect you. Listen, Sorry. It was, it, listen, it was it. Honestly, I had no, a lot of fun dancing. Nothing, there's no, I didn't hook up with her. Nothing no, was actually nice. We, we don't care about hooking up with her. She's thing. pretty. I she was think, nice. I think that there should remove the stigma if you dance with a guy. Like, it's because you like him. Like, I think there should be more platonic dancing. I think dancing yeah, is a beautiful thing to do with someone. It is, it's it is. so much fun when there's like a nice little chemistry and passion and you remove the whole like chase that you want to get with them. When you just want to dance with them and have a good time, I find it so beautiful, man. I had a time of my life. You know, I, I gotta say, I don't think there's a stigma though. And hear me out. Yeah. I, I think it, because at Block X, it's more of a trap, a trap party. It's more of like a twerking well, party. I, I, you had girls twerking on the floor. You had girls twerking well, on the floor. It was guys. a mix of everything because it was also like a house party vibe. No, I know. I know it was, but I'm saying like, I don't think you have to worry about the stigma, bro, because what I saw, I didn't think you were trying to hook up with her. No. When I saw you, I thought it was cute. I felt bad about interrupting you guys because I looked at that and went, oh shit, like this is, he's not going, you're not making, eh. not tongue, yeah, you're not yeah. going like, eh. no. Instead, you're like holding her, and you guys are. It seems you guys are actually talking yeah. about something. So no, you don't. You don't have to worry about this. That's like, what, there's that's no what actual stigma. I find. Is you could just you you got to know people. You got to talk. Be like, I remember almost everyone's name of who I met that night. I remembered a bit about them. Like it was nice, and which it's like unlike clubbing, which I want to get into after a little thing I want to talk about. I know what a couple names. 
Oh, uh, we're at 15 minutes. Okay, perfect. I know. I remember some names. I got Evan, Marcus. Marcus is, oh, we did the ultimate beer pong game that night. It was yeah, the ultimate. I remember. When I tell you, and I promise you guys, when I tell you I made four redemption shots, four to five redemption shots to keep us in, and then Marcus finished us, bro. We beat, like, so they were good players. Our opponents were good players. Yeah. We beat them, bro. I remember Evan. I was with my girlfriend. I was with real estate all night. All right. Talk about, talk about what real estate did. Oh, the MVP maneuver. This is okay. This is this is a shout out for real estate. But right before we can, before we continue this episode, because there was a point in the night where Kocheck was busted. Fucking Kocek messed up. It was messed up. And listen, I'm not pointing fingers to anybody. I'm just saying that we should have done a better job organizing the numbers. Yeah. Because when I got to the front and we were left there, if it wasn't for real estate, I would have been alone at Kocheck dealing with numbers that made no sense, missing tickets, and a high fluctuation of people coming in and out. Real estate. Ha- could have gone and had fun with the party, but real estate wanted to hang out with me. She was like, I want to be with you. Like, it's okay. And I want so to thank she- you personally to real estate because you made all of our lives easier that night when you had no reason to do it. Yeah. And so shout out to you. We fucking yeah. love you. Yeah. She came to Coach Check and she helped me organize the whole Coach Check. Yeah. She helped me communicate with people. Yeah. And she stayed with me at Coach Check till we were done. Yeah. That was, that that was, was it was the best thing ever. And so uh, shout out to real estate right there. Yeah. And then uh, I'm not sure if you actually pee on the brown paper. I might, have, I might have been dreaming. I don't know if you peed on it. I think I think she stopped. I think she was like, no, we didn't pee on it. And I took it and I heard like, oh, you peed on it? <laughs> I don't know. And then, Anyways. guys, the rest of the party was, you know, it's a regular party. You had people making out. You had people spinning shots in each other's mouths. You had fucking people dancing, laughing, mm-hmm. crying. You had people meeting each other. Yeah. You had people like fucking having the time of their lives. And the thing about the party is that we could tell you some funny moments that stood out or some things, but we can't explain everything because it's something you have to come experience right you have to come like that takes the- away like you know everyone's gonna have a different story when they go to the party and everything mm, yeah. and now which if you want we could do the review you can't please everybody nope. and so i want to address what we'd like to address at the party um it was our first party it's the first party we ever thrown and yeah. the reason why i think it was a, we did a good job is because at some point there was a high peak at the party where no matter if you liked it or not, there was a point where the majority was having a great time it was and you saw insane. it. insane. You know? And so I would say that, listen, we messed up a bit. The bathrooms, you messed up. Coach check, we messed up a little bit. Organization alcohol, was off. The like, alcohol, we fucked up a little bit as well. The like, alcohol, we ran out a little early. Like for me personally, everyone in the party was happy. They were satisfied except for me. Yeah. I was the one guy at the end of the night going, guys, like, no. Like yeah. I was unsatisfied. I was not happy. Yeah. And to this day, I'm not. I am not satisfied yeah. because I saw the potential that we had that night. I saw the potential of everything we could do yeah. together as a team. You know, if we fucking did it right, if we fucking worked hard all together yeah. and we just, you know, we really put our heads to it. There was so much potential. At one point in the night, I saw a vision, guys. I saw a vision of everyone together and it was so beautiful because it had all the elements of clubbing, the loud music, the yep. dancing, the bottles, the alcohol. But with the beauty of the house party, when people meet each other, you talk to a girl, you meet a girl that night, you mm-hmm. think she's beautiful, you go talk to her, you dance with her, mm-hmm. you chase her around the night. It's not just fucking grinding like when you no. do at the club and then you're trying to steal someone's alcohol no, off the, the table the, and it's no. all fucking scheming. Yeah. It's none of that. It removes all down the playing field. It's just true passion true happiness of partying and that's why guys i want to tease something and i have to pass it through some people first before we do it <laughs> always teasing but i am not it anyone. satisfied i was not satisfied with block x not one bit because like i said i know there was potential and that's why i want to run it we want to run it back <laughs> no he does i him i no, I want to run it back again. I want to fucking do something crazy, but I want him on the journey with me. I want these. I want JJ. I want to run it back with him. Trey, I want to run it back with everyone. Devon, our bartender, want to run it back with you too. Yeah, Devon Shout stuff. out to Devon for working so hard that night on the bartending. Yeah, Devon. I know that we can do something fucking insane. And I have no doubt. I work only in absolutes when I have a plan and I know that we can make something, an experience that will stay in the memory of everybody. A night... A night of love, a night of happiness, a night of fucking drama, a night of everything. Because there's no there's no room for something average. There's no. You can't do that. You can't throw an event and let it be average. When you do something, you have to do something spectacular that lights the soul of everybody. You have to make sure people experience life when they come to your party. And with all the emotions I'm feeling right now, and you can see inside my psyche, this is what I have planned for our next event. So you better bet your fucking ass the next event we do is going to stay in the hearts, in the memories, of, and in the souls of everyone who comes to, to that night to experience it all together. 
We're going to fucking blow the roof off that joint. We're going to make sure everyone has a happy ass fucking memory. And everyone goes, oh shit, it was worth coming. And to everyone who came to Block X the first time and was like, you know what, like, you know, it was good, but it wasn't the best. I'm going to make sure the next fucking event you come to is the best goddamn event you ever fucking went to. I promise you, we will put our heart and souls into it to truly give you guys an amazing night, a night of happiness, a night of love, like I said, and hopefully many more in the future. But I'm telling you, this next one, I will, I will make sure it is something that no one ever forgets. It will not be a party. I promise you, it will be an experience that you cannot miss out on. Round of applause. That was beautiful. And I have not one doubt in my mind about it. That was beautiful. Thank you. Listen, I didn't. I didn't think. I just spoke. No, I, I let you. Like I let you yeah, have yeah. it. No, that was good. Go. I got it all out. The party was far from perfect. Um, but you have two sides of the spectrum. Okay, we didn't do enough. We could have done it better, and we at least gave you guys a good time. To yeah. people who came to support us, thank you for coming. It was a good time i'm sure most of y'all had a good time the people who had a bad time hear us out we might have something else coming stay and tuned I, and i'm gonna make sure uh, we're gonna make sure it's wicked this time here's the thing about parties though and i want to talk about this in depth ready yeah here's the thing about parties so god fucking damn it if you go back in time to around the cold war okay 1986 all right when Adolf Hitler took over Germany, okay, and the United States Emirates came to Dubai to invade for uh, the sheep, the, the large amounts of sheep because they needed meat, okay. Guys, this is your the first party that piss. was ever thrown by Abu Habdad was Abu Habdad <laughs> was not really good, and the reason for that is because he wasn't able to gather a crowd of people who believe in the party owners. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? We next time will commit into bringing that vibe, the belief system. We're gonna bring in the beliefs in order to bring. Everybody from here to here. Because at the end of the day, why does the car cross the road? The car crosses the road to get to the other destination, to the other side. Just like what Abu Habdad said back in Germany in 1942. So guys, what I want to get into is why I think the Block X vibe is better than your regular club. Right. It's because I want to explain this part. It's very of, important to explain. Of why I don't like... Personally, I've, I've been clubbing a lot in the past month and... I've realized to found, I like it. I like going, but I have a, just things about it I don't like. Mm. Because this is the formula for clubbing. I'm going to give you one if you're a guy and one if you're a girl. If you're a guy, you walk in, you have to spend monies on bottles. Then you go, you try to find a girl that's willing to grind on you. You make out with her. And you can do maybe multiple girls in a night if you're lucky, if you don't stick on that same girl. Because honestly, anybody, any guy can go at the club and hook up with multiple girls. You do not need skill. You seem to look mildly decent. She needs a fuck, I just didn't sound bad, but everyone just needs to drink a bit and then everyone turns into a I'll, fucking I'll fuck take, I'll take the hit for you, bro. No, 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 no. Boys, the girls at the clubs don't want you. They're at the clubs for a reason. Yeah, they take don't want you. Because you. the girls, they just want to take your fucking alcohol and have a good time with their girlies. And let's be real. Let's say you get her snap, you get her number, you get her Instagram, whatever the fuck. How many times are you going to fall through with it? Never. Listen, Never. you want your wife, go to the library. You want a girlfriend, go to the club. Exactly. And listen, it goes into like what we said about hookup culture last episode. If you like clubbing, it's not a bad thing if you want to go out, hook up with girls and all that. But like I said, don't expect it to be fulfilling. Yeah. Don't. You know what? Look I, at me. I got Don't. Say, he's stuck in a monkey queue. I'm going to explain that. You want to explain that in a second? What that is? Oh, fuck What's going to happen to you? Do you want to? Loose. I'm going to get yelled at out of the way. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, uh, do, yeah. How filtered do you want this? Let's go. Oh, okay. okay, let's go. All right. I'll wait. Now that I have your acceptance. All right. Listen, um, at the club, I got to say, listen, I'm, we're not saying that you can't find your girl at the club. You can find your girl you at a party. You can club. find your girl at the club. But don't go to the club expecting to, to you know, participate in this whole culture of, you know, on to the next, on to the next. That's the whole thing about the culture. It's always on to the next. You're never satisfied. You just keep going, keep going, 100%. keep going. Um, yes. Because no yes. One, yeah, because no one's perfect at the end of the day. And hookup culture encourages you to keep moving as long as you're not happy. But you're never going to get fulfilled and you'll notice 100%. that. But so all I'm saying is we're all we're saying is don't go in there expecting to find your your dream girl out of the sun. Your dream girl odds are isn't in there. She's probably somewhere else focusing on her goals. Maybe she's yeah. playing a sport rather than going to pay. And I'm not judging. I do it too. Pay to poison your body. Okay. And when it comes to the girls, they'll take your alcohol. They'll, they'll take they'll the take alcohol, it. the poison that you paid for, and then they'll have, they'll have a good time with it and they'll, you'll be a number to them. Because from other people yeah. that we know, 
Go fuck yourself. You're not special. <laughs> you're, nev- no, you're, not you're never. No, you're never special. You, you can just be a number to them. You are never special. Never. Don't ever think you're going to a club and, and you're special unless you unless. know them beforehand and there's a, there's a bonding connection beforehand. But if you just met someone at the club, a you will never, lower ever. She's, lower she's willing to grind on a bunch of different guys at night. You you are not spe- you're not the the guy of her dreams. She might think you're hot. Then she's going to find another hot guy. Then we're going to find another hot girl. Yeah. You know Bro. what? Because here's the thing. and I, I think and maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a girl. So girls, let us know in the comments. Instead of yelling at us and going, misogyny. How about you <laughs> like, yeah, tell us in the comments? Um, I think that as guys, we find pre- either like the prettiest girl there or a really pretty one attractive yeah. to us. And we go to her. Girls, and we know one of these girls who does this and we're mad at her a little bit. Oh my gosh. Even though she had a bad night. Let's yeah, put yeah. that aside. In general, they go for guys that aren't even worth their time. No. They'll go for it. They'll categorize you as like, oh, he's kind of cute. And they'll go and they'll do stuff with you. And then because... You, you, the, the guy that's kind of cute, might look at her and be like, oh, fuck, she's gorgeous. Bro, you might be focused on getting her. She's focused on getting you and your whole crew. Like, she doesn't, they don't give a fuck. Girls aren't there for you. No. They're there for the culture. I, I'd it, say clubbing culture is a thing, actually. Yeah, it is a The culture. majority of people that I ask, if they like no. clubbing, they don't like clubbing. The I'm majority being, that I've asked. And I'm being honest. Like, it is a culture because as someone, I've, like, I've got to experience the culture within the past month. And fellas... It is a culture. It's literally just going in. You lose money. You hook up with a couple of girls and you never talk to them That's again. It. And they won't text you again, bro. So you paid money. So in a sense, you paid money not only to poison your body and to feel like shit. You paid money for that. And we're not judging. Go have fun. But you hear what I'm saying here? You paid money to poison your body. You paid money to have a chance with girls. You paid money to have a chance to talk to girls. Poison your body. Lose on sleep. Hold on. And get stuck in the cycle and do it all over again. A hundred percent. But we're not judging. I've done and it. Just, He's done it. We it's all fun. done it. That's why it's, that, that's why it works. It, but like, like I said, don't expect anything out of it. Yeah. And trust me, guys, that girl that you you want at the club, you're gonna see her hook up with another guy. And when you watch it, you have to realize you're mortal. You're human. Uh-huh. Like, I think, we, I think you realize we've been that. through it. You I know? Think, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I realized it too. Like, listen, when I, when I went out to the club, me personally, there was never a girl I fucking desired or wanted. But if you meet a girl that's like, you know, she's beautiful at the club, you hook up with her, then you see her with another guy, it makes you realize like, hey, you're just every, like everyone else. And there's something I realized about the club. It just hit that's me not too. I wanted to get to. Yep. Something else I got yep. to. You see, for me personally, every girl that I've hooked up with at the club and like she's giving me her snap or vice versa, never followed through. Never. Oh, they didn't. They never followed through. To you? I never followed through. She, they never followed through. Even though they were pretty, or were they not pretty enough? Both. Nah, I'm both. The ones that you just meet at the club, you hook up, you talk for a bit, never follow through. But when I went to the club this weekend, I met this girl outside the club. I was mm-hmm. when I was waiting for a friend mm-hmm. for two hours. This girl just walked up to me. She, we had a conversation. Her and I. I did, I know, did I know about no. this? No, I didn't know about no, this. No, that's yet. what I'm saying. That's okay, why. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. She's, she just walked up to me on the street with her and her friend. And we're just talking. We have a conversation. Just random person I met on the street. Yeah. We had a conversation all together. And then she was like, hey, you know, you're cute. Like, can I get your snap? I was like, oh, cool. I was like, all right. Like, I gave it to her. I said, fuck yeah, it. Like, yeah. just someone to talk to me. She's like, all right. Have a good night. Get home safe, please. And she hugs me. Who is this? The fucking this one. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. But that was after. I didn't know about her. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's how you guys met. Yeah. Oh, and that's this nice. girl. And this girl. I actually had conversations with after. I didn't hook up with her. I didn't do nothing. I still talk to her now. I like, they're not like stellar conversations, but a conversation on the list. And I have, I have no intent of getting with this girl, but it just goes to show that like someone that you talk to, like that you actually get to know, you'll actually talk to them after. For example, like the, the girl that danced with that block X. I got, That's what I was going to get to. Do you, you want, want to compare her? Yeah, I'm going to compare tell, Do you want to tell them what you told me last night? Yeah, 100%. Go for it. Let's this guy's support. More, I got more of a high. I yep. got more enjoyment, more satisfaction with that one dance with the girl at Block X without hooking up. Mm-hmm. I had a better time. I enjoyed myself more than with all the girls I might have hooked up while clubbing. I understand all you. I get what you mean, bro. All of them combined. I get what you mean. It was less satisfying. But the, that one dance that I had, it was like, it was fulfilling. It was like, it was nice. I That's was like, nice, bro. I like this. I, I remember at the at the end of Block X, just because I understand. At the end of Block X, uh, when the party was dimming down and stuff. And, you know, you have people dancing like in a corner. Yeah. But, like, it was dimming down. People were leaving. Um, me and real estate, we had a chance to actually just, like, dance together. Yeah. And it was kind of nice because it was kind of like, 
everybody was like over there. Yeah. And then we were here alone. And you had your me, bro. And it's the same feeling. And it's better it's, than it's any beautiful. grinding, any fucking making out you can have. Like, yeah, it's fun to have that passion. And grinding whatever. is nice, bro. But like, but the, to dance with a girl, to talk to her, to get to know her, like, it's a beauty like no other. Yeah. And like, I'm com- I'm telling you from a guy who's had it on both sides, and I'm talking from about from a guy who prefers hooking up than commitment. Honestly, guys, it is something I I prefer. Right? I'll tell you guys what I told him. I'm proud of Rocky. Listen, this is this is a learning phase. We'll keep this for another episode. This will this yeah. will be another episode. What this is, we're gonna call it the chapters of our life. But yeah, this has been a learning a learning curve for Rocky and I, learning yeah. a lot about ourselves. And I'm proud of him because he's like I'm I'm not saying like he was he was uh you were not arrogant or ignorant. No, no, no. no. But he's I'm seeing both. I've I saw both sides. I made my choice, but he's seeing both sides. I'm really like I'm. I'm and learning it's, to it's appreciate nice. more sides more. And listen, like like I said, I'm happy where I am in my life now. Don't get me wrong. Like, but I do realize what to appreciate more, no. and like maybe to not stress about some certain things, more or less. And these things I'm gonna keep more personal to myself, because it's not something that I really want out. Mm-hmm. But there are some things that I've like. Hey, I've learned to I learned to have a better understanding because I find. Clubbing is filled more with masks and lies. It is. That you have to see through. Like, I'll give you another example. At the club, I got a waitress's number. Mm. When the club, you know those really pretty, like, bottle girls and all that? She gave me her number. Now, if I tell you that right away, you're like, fuck, that's Job. awesome. Yeah. Let me tell you why I got her number. Yeah. Because I tipped her really well that night. Mm-hmm. I, I made sure, like, I gave her an easy time. And she took care, honest to God, she took care of me and, like, the table I was with. She was a sweetheart, right? She kept asking me throughout the night, what do you need? Are you okay? She gave me a really good time. She was, she asked about me to my friends. Like, she was good. But I also gave her, like, $200 in tips, you know? Mm. So, like, you understand? And I did that because I understand how the service works, right? So, you know. I was being nice. I had no intention of fucking trying to flow with her or get with her. I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm not going to pay to get someone's attention. I find that stupid. But at the end of the night, she goes and she asks me for my number. And she's like, if you ever need anything, I'll take care of you when you come back. So that just goes to show that like in the club, no one really cares about you unless it benefits them. Listen, maybe she had good motives. Maybe she didn't. But at the end of the day, Rocky tipped her a high amount of money. Okay. And... um there I'm could be other no, 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 no. She might know. have actually like because like she's like you're really maybe. nice, like thank you. Maybe. Like maybe she was like actually being considerate, and maybe. I appreciate that. Maybe. I'm not taking that away from her, but I'll guarantee you something. Had I not tipped that money, there would have been no hey. Next time you come, let me take care well, of. Well, I'll tell you what, bro. Uh, you got her Snapchat? No, her number. Have you her guys fifth. have you guys texted? I well at the end of the night, I texted. Her. I was like, hey, thank you for everything. Right. I'll probably be back around New Year's. Yeah. Have a good night. Be safe. Yeah. She wrote the same thing. She's like, okay, perfect. I'll be there. Uh, get home safe as well. You too. With a smiley face. That's it? That's it. Okay. We'll see. To me, that's great. Like, I mean, it's not bad. You can have a good conversation like that. It's very wholesome, actually. Yeah. But there's no reason to believe that there's anything past no. like a romantic, it's a romantic transactional. interest. It's just transactional. That's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. And um, that's why I got quiet for a second. I was thinking about what we said last night. Because Rocky and I sit up late last night. Um, it will. You will never get fulfilled from what clubbing will offer you. And we were talking about it. I forget what the quote was. We said this, but we said that the only thing that will actually fulfill you is love. Yeah. Love and love is the only thing that can listen. truly fulfill everything because when you're because when you're doing the whole hookup thing and all that in the club, you're trying to be the only one and trying to impress a bunch of people who have no investment in oh, you. I know the quote. That's the thing. Because Rocky told me last night, and it, it, it resonated with me. He said there will always be bigger fish. There's, there's yeah. always going to be bigger fish, and there's always going to be someone better than you, and there's always going to be somebody that you know can looks better, maybe has this or has that, right? You can never be the best. Like It's the truth. No. There's always going to be a guy that's going to appeal to her more at one point if she does not love you. That's what I'm saying. There is, listen, because don't be don't get stressed out because at, at, at the base here, you can get stressed out. What the fuck? I'm never going to be enough. No, no, no. You can become the best version of yourself. Yeah. The best version of yourself, I'm sure, can destroy everybody else at the club. Because odds are people at the club and everybody spending time at the yeah. club are average guys. Listen, you're not going to see the top class guy at the club. And you're not going to see a top class woman at the club unless it's on occasion. And sue me. Get mad at me for saying this. It's a bold statement. But fuck, if we're talking generalization, I think I'm correct here. I think that the majority of guys at the club who spend all their hours at the club are not the best versions of themselves yet. Because no. if you want to keep alcohol- alcoholizing yourself, true. odds are you're hiding from something. That goes for women and men. True. Okay? Now, number two, 
I would say, and I got quiet because I've been fucking yeah, formulating go, go, these go, fucking go. theories in my mind. Um, I would say that become the best version of yourself that will appeal to her. If it's a girl that does not care about you, then there will always be somebody else better. And that's, that's, that's the loop that Rocky is stuck in. Even if you don't mind if me talking you're about the it. best version of yourself. Like, I'm not the best version of myself yet at all. But even if I were, I may be the best version of myself, but I'm not the best for her. Uh, that's if she doesn't love you. And here's where, here's where that comes in. And I know it's cliche. And if we have a younger audience and you're busy and you don't believe in it, fuck love, fuck this, then go do your thing. It exists. We're giving so. you the advice. We can't, we can't force you to eat. Yeah. Love is real. Love exists. It exists. Whether it's romantic or plutonic. Rocky has showed me how to love in a way where, listen, I have like, I have like lack of empathy. I, I've moved my whole life. I've said goodbye to my friends. I can't say goodbye to him. Okay. He showed me that. I know I've shown him it too. But because I'm, because I'm talking right now, I'm just figuring like, yeah, yeah, go, go. I, you will be enough. You will be absolutely enough to the girl or to the man if they love you. Because once you love somebody, love is blind. And this is why it's a little dangerous. It's like a rose. It's like a thorn. Yeah. Roses have thorns sometimes. You, you sing yourself, but you, you might not, you'll keep holding the rose. It's a pretty fucking flower. Listen, if the person loves you, they will not look at the other fish. They'll see somebody good looking, right? Because you can still acknowledge beauty. They'll look around. Oh, he's good looking. Oh, he's stronger. Oh, fuck. He's stronger than my boyfriend. Oh, he's faster than my boyfriend. You know? Oh, well, I still like my boyfriend. I still, my boyfriend's still better looking than him. Or, you know what? He may be stronger than my boyfriend, but my boyfriend is my boyfriend. My boyfriend's a, my boyfriend has a better fucking, I don't know, better ambition. My boyfriend can become like that. They'll motivate you to become yeah. stronger. And you can become, listen, the toughest of men bleed. Everybody Dwayne bleeds. Rock Johnson bleeds. Everybody fucking bleeds. Everybody bleeds all the same. You might have a god, a fucking god in the boxing ring. He bleeds just like you. You could take him down. Everyone bleeds. It won't be easy. You could take him down. Everybody bleeds. No one is immortal. You were mortal. No one's the invincible. Thing, that's what Everyone I'm is killable. And the that's thing. what we're talking about last night. Mm -hmm. Everyone can be slain in any form or any right. manner. Like whether it's emotionally, mentally. Yeah. Like nobody's unbreakable. But that's why we train and we get better. And we get better. And we get better to become the best version of myself. Of ourselves. And that's why I realized for me too, like I was like, hey, listen, I, my concept with girls and everything was always to be like this immortal thing that like I could do it all, right? Like I could, I could get any girl I want and everything. That was my deepest, darkest sin inside was I had to be, I could, I had to be able to attain everything because I could never, ever attain anyone. You took rejection well, but it didn't sit well with you. What? You would take rejection correctly. You're a good I guy. I could take it correct, but it never but it sat didn't, with it didn't me. sit with you. Never sat with me. No. And it was always like that because I always got rejected. I could never attain anyone. So my deepest, darkest thing was to be able to attain everything. Right. But I have to realize that I have to let go of that. Yeah. And I have to realize that like I won't be able to attain everything. It's okay. You don't have it's to normal. worry, brother. I'm going to be able to attain some and there's some I can't. You don't have to worry. One thing I can promise you is that in the future, and there's no rush, have fun. In the future, and I can promise you this, when you fall in love... When you find that one person, bro. Yeah. If you want drama, you'll have it. I promise. If you want ups and downs, you'll have it. I promise. Yeah. If you want stability, you'll have it. I promise. If you want fulfillment, you will be fulfilled. You will be fulfilled. Love, I honestly believe the person you meet and you fall in love with will, will fulfill everything. It will. And it will. you just have to wait to find that person, guys. And listen, another thing is you can't ever force love. Oh, bro, don't if do it. If it's not did. there... If it's if you are not in love, and you'll know whether you're not, you you feel it. It's yeah, such no, a strong don't emotion. It. It's don't be afraid it's to break it off either. Fault. It's not your fault if you're not in love, and as long as you you don't use anyone and you make it clear, like, hey, you're not in love, and that's okay. You can care for someone, but if you're not in love with them, it's okay, and you have to let you just have to let things go sometimes. And you have to make it clear. You know, I, I gotta say here, there's a thing about today's world. Um, and we're at 40 minutes when you want to cut it off. 45. I don't mind. Just, it's a good episode. There's a thing about today's world. And I see it happening. And listen, I'm, I'm 19 years old. I might, I, I can see jack shit. I know nothing. I'm learning just as much as you guys. I'm learning just as much as Rocky. Same here. Good. Um, one thing I gotta say is I believe that our generation has become a little more sensitive than past generations. And I don't mean it in a way where it's like with the whole... Um, you know the, the new clubs and the new cultures if you guys know what I'm talking about I mean it in a sense where I find that people um, there's you're, there's frequentations there's getting to know somebody yeah. there's dating right after and there's a pressure to go to dating once you're fre fre frequenting somebody don't okay? do that listen it's okay to break it off you can go 10 girls or 10 guys and if, if none of them worked out that does not make you a hoe 
It doesn't make you a, a fucking a fuck boy. Your truck, because I know on my side, I, I went through a cycle every single month. I had a new yeah. girl. And my issue is that I was trying to force love. I was trying yeah. to force it, force my Can't feelings force for it. them. Force it all, without being forceful to them, but to myself, convincing myself of this. I couldn't look at anybody else. I could. I have the same fucking, same thing. I like, would bro, do it to myself. Every and, fucking, yeah. like, every girl that I did in the past, it's like, it's the same thing. I get with them. I think I could fall in love. I try, I try, I try, and I just, I don't and some fall point in drives love. You, at some point, it drives you crazy, and then and you it drives repulsive. you crazy because you feel bad, and then you don't understand your emotions, and then yeah. it's a constant circle. Guys, Guys, it's okay. You're gonna listen. You're gonna hurt people. It's yeah. normal. It's gonna fucking happen. It's gonna happen. You're gonna hurt people, and it's a shitty fucking feeling. You Which, don't want to hurt people, you but should, yeah, yeah. Go on. You, can you can't be scared of it to happen because you have to understand. By not being true to yourself and not being true to them, you're hurting them. You should acknowledge the fact that, you know, those is sad. Okay, and I'm, I I hate realism. I hate being real. I hate. Let's be realist. I hate. That sentence, let's be realistic, bothers me because I find that it's pessimistic and it brings you down. We'll talk about that in another episode. But this is something that's okay to acknowledge. Pain does make people grow. Pain will teach you things, okay? Yeah. It doesn't mean you should just strive in pain and not, no, it's a miserable, miserable way of living. You break it up with somebody for whatever reason it is, okay? And you can be honest with them, you can not be honest with them. You will teach them how to, how to you know, find their own worth. And that will help them to when they find their own person of their own, okay? 100%. We cannot be afraid to break up or to, you know, to leave somebody because we pity them. Pity is not helping that, anybody. That's the worst. Yeah, you do what you want to do and you, you do how you feel. And if it hurts them and if you keep hurting people, then fuck, you keep hurting people. If you're at 10 girls and you can't find anything, then take a second, to, take a break, take a second and look at what you want. And, look and then back. go for yeah. that. Look back a little bit. That's okay. But I find that because we're so worried about breaking up with people, um, I find that maybe that can account for like the higher divorce rates or I find yeah. that maybe that can account for you can't um, be scared of it yeah you know in your heart sometimes what you have to do and yeah. you have to just do it mm -hmm. and for those if you're broken up with and you're still attached to someone and you and you know you can't let go of them but you know it's not gonna happen it's not gonna work delete back out delete their pictures what? <laughs> yes delete their pictures if you're so attached oh delete their god. pictures oh my god no honestly it's like you have to learn you have to learn how to let go, guys. It's it's hard. And on both sides, everyone has to learn how to let go. And you need to focus on yourself. And you need to find someone that's going to appreciate you for you and how you mm -hmm. and the person that you want. Sometimes your idea of someone is not who they actually are. And you have to accept that. Doesn't mean they're a bad person. That's just not that's what you thought called the honeymoon were. phase. Listen, I used to think the honeymoon phase was like when you're lovey dovey, and then when it's gone, you're not lovey dovey anymore. Your partners. That's not true. No. The honeymoon phase, when it lifts, you're still lovey dovey and your partners. But that's when you start to see. You know the true like that's when you start to see true colors. That's when the honeymoon phase lifts. Yeah, you, you start to see how it's they act like you under stop pressure. Loving being all cute. No, no it's when you no. realize like, hey, this person has imperfections. Yeah, and that's that's when love comes in. And I, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about it in this episode because oh. I find that just like how we talked about hookup culture, I want to. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about love. And I'm gonna tell you what I've been learning with yeah. love because I've been learning a lot. Perfect, a lot. Okay. And me too, man. And I made a big realization recently. I told you about it. What yeah. she made me, what real estate yeah, yeah, yeah. realize. And I like that. Fuck, I, I love her for it. So. Hey guys, listen. This was a this was a big episode. We fucking we yep. missed you so we much. We missed you guys. We're back. Hi. Uh, a lot of a lot of big things coming on the way. Like we said, uh, we're just trying our best out here, man. We're gonna make it. I promise you. Yeah, we're gonna be big. You know we're gonna, we're gonna make be it. big. You guys know we're gonna make it, man. Than we think. And you guys are all gonna be here for the ride. And there are some people that have been here since day one. Since the first episode, that really episode with a lot of the edits with Daddy Bands. Remember that episode? Yeah. Some of y'all have been here since then. And if you guys are still watching, thank That's you. We love you. We appreciate Daddy you. Bands, you know wasn't for him. Daddy Ben started us, bro. He, he helped us with that fucking Kickstarter, man. Yeah, Shout I out know. to you, man. So, we love you. We ain't forget about you. We're not leaving, guys. We're not fucking leaving. You guys want to Wall Street? Wall Street? <laughs> not I'm not leaving. leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. We're not going anywhere. We're never we're fucking back. leaving. Okay, we're always going to be back. We were busy with the podcast. We finalized school. Okay, school's out of session. Um, and so I'll it's be in Dubai. It's not even about the excuses, guys. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. We're There's getting no excuses. shit done. We're taking this one There's step no at excuses, a time. There's no excuses, but we, we always communicate. Okay, I'll be in Dubai in two weeks. He's in Dubai, so that's in a right. week. We're going to pre-record episodes. You know, have your idiots with heart dose. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <coughs> so you know where Matt is. Now, and also, I was thinking I would do perspectives. I'll record. Yeah, yeah, I'll put yeah. it, you know the idiots with heart account? Yeah. I'm going to post at the beach. Yeah, you should. 100%. <laughs> Rocky, what are you doing? Fuck you. I'm going to Answer me this time. <laughs> yeah, no, me last, so time. last time I saw it, I forgot the answer. It's okay. But yeah, guys, like we're gonna, I'm gonna try to, we're gonna try to bring some content on the break and stuff, uh, some fun little video ideas. We might do a, a vlog in Toronto next month. So, yeah, guys, listen, a lot of big things. We love you. Thank you to everyone who supports us. 
to everyone you for who listening. stays in the cut with us. You Thank know. you for listening. Just are you done? Did you finish? Yeah. Thank you for listening. Don't you ever forget that what the fuck do we know? We're just idiots with heart, baby. Take it easy. Love you. Come to the next party. Yeah. It's going to be a... F- hey, look at me. I promise you. I promise you. It will redeem everything, every doubt, everything that we were not satisfied with. It will redeem all of it. And I promise you, it'll be redemption. And if there's one thing I never, ever do is break my word. Because when I'm set on something, I have an absolute dire to succeed and get it done. Breaking backs, never breaking words. That's his motto. And that's what everything I do in life. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Take it easy. Stay safe. Peace out.